the outer lens of the eye, the one that's up against the environment, is called the cornea. And the cornea can become damaged in lots of ways. One of the common ways it becomes damaged is contact lens abuse, where your contact lens is poorly and getting an infection. Trauma, car seats going off, uh, um, getting punched in the eye, or getting a sharp object um, at the eye. These all traumatize the cornea, the outer window of the eye. That tissue is very delicate tissue, and it's very interesting tissue. It's the only part of the body that's transparent. That's how it lets light in, and that's how we were able to see the world. And so when it becomes damaged in any way and loses its transparency, it can be devastating. Another common way that it becomes damaged is people doing it to themselves without realizing it, eye rubbing and knuckling your eyes. The cornea is only about a half a millimeter thick. The cartilage in it is very frail compared to other parts of the body. And even though it's resilient, it can stretch. And so rubbing your eyes a lot will eventually cause it to stretch so much and a condition known as keratoconus can arise that requires corneal transplantation. And uh, we therefore will provide corneal transplants to these patients and they're required to use steroid eye drops for a very long time to prevent rejection of their transplants. Um, there's a lot of uh, new technologies coming out surrounding corneal transplantation, but for people who've had scars either from viruses or bacterial infections, um, lacerations, and so forth, traditional corneal transplantation is still the only option.